My name is Magdalena Champon, and after Saunders High School, I'm planning to go to SUNY New Paltz as a freshman, and I'm going to be majoring in Communication Sciences and Disorders. So my tech prep project is the effectiveness of conventional and synthetic disinfectants in killing bacteria. Conventional disinfectants normally contain more chemicals, while synthetic disinfectants do they, they do contain chemicals, but not as much. And I wanted to see if the amount of chemicals in each product affects how efficient they are in killing bacteria. And the reason why I chose E. coli was because it's something that's really obtainable online and something that can be common in certain kitchens if not cleaned properly. And because of the pandemic, I wasn't able to do my experiment. However, during the time I had, I was able to find previous studies as well as other methods that I could use for my project, such as the suspension method and disc diffusion method. Hi, my name is Mariana Capistran. I will be attending Manhattan College for the next four years, and hopefully I'll be studying exercise science as my major. This gives me access to a lot of biology and chemistry, which I love, and also give me um, insight into the different healthcare careers like physical therapy, sports medicine, and essentially I'm hoping that it will prepare me for PA school. Um, I'm looking to just find my different interests in science and even explore other branches like business or psychology. So that's going to be my plan for the next four years. My tech prep project was on the effects of benzoyl peroxide and tea tree oil on phytoplankton where I found my methodology, which was to test for chlorophyll concentration using spectrophotometry. Um, I was able to accomplish various re research on these different topics and see how these chemicals have effects on our oceans. Thank you for the taking the time to listen. Hi, my name is Marla. After graduating from high school, I plan to go to college. My major is so far undecided. Um, my tech prep project is titled Testing for Sulfur Dioxide in Yonkers, Bronxville, and Scarsdale. So far from my project, I found similar sources, I've done research, and I found methods that will work best. Hi, my name is Nancy John, and the title of my project is Measuring and Comparing the Emissions of Electromagnetic Radiation Emitted by Electronic Gadgets and Appliances. In my experiment, I measure and compare the emissions of electromagnetic radiation emitted by a phone, laptop, and a microwave. I also check to see if using shielding would reduce radiation emissions. The different shieldings I used was a laptop screen protector, and it was anti-glare, a wooden door, and a plastic cell phone case. I found that wood was the most effective material at reducing radiation emissions, while the anti-glare screen protector was the least effective. After high school, I plan to pursue physician assistant studies. Hi everyone, my name is Talene B. Maya, and my tech prep project is to figure out which honey brands has high lead contamination. And so far, I have done lots and lots of research on my tech prep. How does honey get, to get contaminated by lead? How does it happen? What's the process? How is it dangerous to us? Um, us human beings and to the environment and so far I haven't been able to do any experiments because I've not been in school so I've only done my research so far and that's about it and then what I plan to do after Saunders is that I plan to go on to Wing College to study psychology because that's what I want to do it's always been my passion my dream to do psychology ever since I was in the middle school so I'm happy to be accepted and study that. So that's what I plan to do after I graduate. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Markayla England and I'm a senior in Saunders High School in the biochem magnet. So basically my plans after Saunders are to attend Georgia State University in Atlanta, Georgia and graduate with a bachelor's degree in biology. I also plan on getting my working papers before I go down to Atlanta because I still haven't gotten them yet. I was supposed to get them last year but after my physical but I forgot so. So basically I am determining how much formaldehyde is in three different hair conditioners and comparing. And to go about that I would have had a solution of conditioner and water, 
because formaldehyde is soluble and a 50 milliliter solution of a compound of sulfuric acid iron and tryptophan which would produce a color change and detect the formaldehyde followed by spectrophotometry Whoever's seeing this, my message to you is don't let the pandemic get you down. I experienced it a lot this year, but I hope everything gets better. Hello, my name is Natalia Viota Montoya. I am 18 years old and I am a senior biochem student at Saunders High School. And in the fall, I'll be attending New York University. A fun fact about me is that I love animals, which is the reason why I decided to center my project around birds and studying their migration patterns. In order to do this, I needed to purchase a squirrel-proof trisection bird feeder, three different kinds of bird foods in order to attract different birds with different beak sizes, and I also used my teacher's time-lapse pro camera. I uh, filled up each section of the bird feeder with each kind of food and put it onto my tree. And about a meter and a half away, I attached my time-lapse pro camera and I secured it very tightly and I set it up to take pictures every 10 minutes um, from sunrise to sundown for the course of almost a year. With this, I have come up with over a couple hundreds of pictures of many different kinds of bird species, and I needed to identify each kind. In order to do this, I used Stan Tachiella's Birds of New York Field Guide. This book went in depth on how to identify each bird with a series of pictures and graphs, and it also went in depth on their migration patterns. This was important, especially considering that this book was published in 2005, and it was very important to me to find a reliable source that was published a couple years ago so that I could compare present migration patterns to past ones to see if there has been any change due to environmental factors such as climate change. Hello, my name is Nora Mosquea, and recently I just finalized my plans on what I will be doing after graduating Saunders. So actually I will be going to Fordham University located in the Bronx on a full ride scholarship where I'll be pursuing chemistry. I actually, instead of starting in the fall, I will be attending a little bit earlier just so I could do a specialized program where I'll be studying for six weeks, then taking a break, then going back to school. I know it sounds a little bit chaotic, but it's what I signed up for, and I'm happy to say that I'll be attending there. So the name of my tech prep project is Gram Testing for Bacteria Located on Doorknobs. Unfortunately, I couldn't have started my project due to the pandemic, and I my plans for my project was to actually start last year so I could see the difference between two years and see the difference between seasons as well on as well as the impact of what season does to the amount of bacteria located on doorknobs. However, I couldn't start my project so but what I got, got accomplished was doing enough research and diving deep on what is gram testing and if there's alternate methods on performing my um, procedures. So essentially that's what I've been doing is enough research to actually just expand on the thought of what could have been my project. And that's basically it. Thank you so much and have a good day. Let's try this again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tian Laborde and my type prep project is how the chemical hydroquinone found in most lightning creams affect algae growth. Due to the pandemic, I've been working on my tech prep projects at home. Well, not necessarily. I've been just working on research and on my virtual binder. Boo! But yeah, I hope everyone continues to stay safe during this hard time. Hi, and my name is Susanna Prezan, and after I graduate from high school, I plan on attending City College of New York to major in business to learn more about human resources, management, and how a small business today can grow into a large and successful corporation in the future. For my tech prep, I decided to study the temperature's effect on the quality of water in plastic bottles. I achieved a successful method that has been used in the past, which is using Daphnia to test the water's toxicity to learn whether or not the plastic bottles leach any chemicals into the water after being exposed to high temperatures. Daphnia is a great use for this experiment because previous studies have also shown that Daphnia are sensitive to change and can provide valuable information. Thank you for your time.